Hi, I'm Frank Gorshin. Hope you've enjoyed traveling back with me to those great old days of live television. And remember, you can see your favorite game shows every day, right here on Game Show Network. Uh, all right, now, uh, now, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just say good night, Frankie. Good night, Frankie. And good night to all of you out there. Looking for fame? Looking for fortune? Well, look no further than Game Show Network's School of Hand Gestures. Since 1955, our graduates have dominated the industry. When you enroll, you'll learn the flip and lift, the seated gesture, look ma, two hands, synchronized gesturing, the graceful exit, and the patented S maneuver. Game Show Network's School of Hand Gestures. Our students are in good hands. You're watching Game Show Network. Let me see this. Oh, man, you know, some people want you to pick money so bad, they will go to a print shop and have something beautiful <laughs> like this made. Well, pick me Groucho. <laughs> now, had you said pick me Amazing Jonathan, you would have been up here, but no. <laughs> Say man, oh, man. Well, we are going to do something so strange uh where's that envelope drop that envelope down where is it at drop it down i've made a prediction before this show started of what you guys are going to say to me right now there was no way to get to this prediction i want charlene or helen would you bring out a magic marker we are going to construct a sentence and that sentence well let's just pay people to construct a sentence you guys want to help me let's have a hand for helen ladies and gentlemen Okay, you want to write or do you want me to write? All right, all right. Okay, let's do this. We'll start with the word I. It's very simple. I, uh, stand up, sir. Here's $50. Give me a word. Like. I like. Okay, let's just go. Can we go out into the crowd on this? Okay. You. Stand up. I like what? Redskins. What? Redskins. Redskins? Okay. <laughs> I'm not a big Redskins fan. I like Redskins. The football team, right? Okay, you're not making you're not making a statement as to your lifestyle. All right. You. All right. Oh, she changed it to potatoes. That's good. I like that. I like Redskin potatoes. Okay, now I'm going to add the word on and you. I like red skin, skin potatoes on. Take the $50. Give me your, any word that you can think of. Uh, on pleats? Plates. Plates. Pleats. It's fun or on pleats. It's not fun or on pleats. On plates. Now, for this final one. For this final word. Where's the paper? I have a ball of paper. Somebody catch this. Who's got it? The guy? Okay. Come on up here for a second. Take your $50, because you caught it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, give me the final word. Anything at all. Give me the final word. I like red skin potatoes on plates. Get, what? 
Any word. Just make it up off the top. Cog your cue. Come here. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You remind me of somebody I know. Give me a word. Du jour. Huh? Du jour. Du jour. How would you spell this? D-U-J-O-U-R. Okay, now. In this envelope, above my head, I have predicted what you guys were going to say. I like red skin potatoes. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. On plates du jour. Uh, bring out a chair so I can reach this. You hold this. Go ahead. I want you to verify this. Nothing is going to change. Okay. Can I just pull that down or do I need scissors? I can just pull it down? Okay. Watch me. If I fall, catch me. Like the gentle feather I will be when I land on your head. Okay. Oh, it's on a clipboard. Okay, good. Now, get this out of the way so that nobody can get hurt. Now watch this. I'm ripping open this. Inside of the envelope is a piece of paper. No tricks. I'm not doing any switches, ladies and gentlemen. I predicted I like red skin potatoes on plates du jour. You got that? Well, we got some fun stuff planned for you today, as you can kind of see without knowing what's going on. We are going to now play a game called the Tub Race. We are going to pit two college teams against each other. I think we know Rutgers. What's the other team? Yeah, all right. Let's bring them out and meet our contestants. They're blindfolded. They are blindfolded. Jim Bradley. Yes, Tell Jonathan. What they are going to have to do. Okay, Jonathan, the blue and the red tub riders have to maneuver their laundry tubs around the ruckus freeway. Using their blindfolded partners for propulsion. The first team to complete the events and cross the finish line will win $500. Okay. We got Rutgers and Glassboro. Nice to meet you guys. All right? Well, who's going to be in the tub? You're going to be? Get in. Get in the tub. Okay. Rutgers and Red Glassboro in blue? Yeah, put your legs over. That seems to be the best way. Now, you are going to be propelled by the blindfold driver, so you have to tell them left, right, backwards, forwards. The Frisbees is the first, first one you got to go for. Now, this is tricky. You got to pick the Frisbees up. These are going to be worth money when you cross the finish line. Whoever has the most will give them $100 per Frisbee. Are you ready? Okay. Um, I want everybody to do this. This is the option. On your mark, get set, go. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, you guys can bump each other. You guys can bump each other. Oh, yeah! As soon as the horn beeps, as soon as the horn beeps, you must move on. <laughs> Yes, yes, the red team, the red team is going. Go, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, oh, you want it, he's going. Set, the whole team, that's it, go to the next one. Now, they must get the frisbee in the window. The first one to get the frisbee in the window moves on to the next event. Yes, go, 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 go. Go over to here now, go over to here. The first one to knock over the shampoo bottle wins. You got him knocked over the red one. He knocked over the blue. You both advance. You both advance. Okay. Then you have to get the bar of soap. You have to get the bar of soap out with the frisbee. If you lose your frisbee in the water, it stays there. Okay. Oh, you got to use the claw to use the frisbee to get the soap. Okay. Oh, he's going off the stage. He's going to knock him off into the stage area. Okay. Did you get the bar of soap out with the frisbee? Oh, no. You have to use the claw. You have to use the claw, you guys. Oh, yeah. That's a little harder, isn't it? And now. And now the finish line. Good. 
takes a break, you might want to study the following commercials very carefully for hidden messages. Never seen a bait that would this bait is phenomenal. Now those commercials didn't hurt a bit, did they? What we're gonna do is we are gonna play a game called on the roll. We have two teams, one red, one blue. Let's bring them out, please, and meet our new ruckus contestant. Wow, wow, wow. Well, we've got one good-looking team, and we got one really ugly team. I'll let you guys figure that one out. Well, oh, what do we got? Uh, for me? <laughs> Why? Oh, okay, yeah, we'll do a cool trip. That's fine. Well, let's use, let's use you. You look good. Come on over. Oh, my God, you look like our makeup ladies. Where's, where's, she? bring her out here for a second. You look just like our makeup lady. Hold this for a second. What we're going to do is... Well, you're not like, give me that. You're like Darth Vader with the, with the laser ray. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it. What's your name? Mary Kay. Mary Kay? Ha, you're like our makeup lady, and your name's Mary Kay. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay, Mary Kay, I'm going to be your little spool dispenser. Go ahead and take about as much off as you usually use. Ah, uh, all right. That's good enough. What I'm going to do is I am going to put this in my hand. You want to hold the microphone if you don't do the laser ray thing again? All right, just down there okay. like it's a microphone, because it is. Now, I'm going to place this in my hand. You blow on it, and it'll be gone, okay? Nobody else is going to see how I do this either. Here we go. Ready? Blow on it, Mary Kay! It's completely gone. Isn't that neat? I know it is neat. Wait, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. This time we'll use a bigger ball just so that maybe she'll catch it. Okay, I'm going to place it in my hand. You blow on it. It'll be gone, okay? You ready? Here we go. Blow on it, Mary Kay! It's completely gone. No, it's not up there. We'll try it again. One more time, though. One more time to give you the full advantage. You've seen these days. Now, well, here we go. I roll it into a big ball, okay? Now, I'm going to place it in my hand. You blow on it. It'll be gone. Okay, blow on it! You don't know how it's done, do you? No. Turn around and look. Ah, I just got one right over your head, didn't it? All right. Now, Jim Bradley, tell us what all our contestants are going to do. Okay, Jonathan, our two teams are racing to unravel their rolls of TP. Letters are hidden on the tubes in the middle of the rolls, and those letters spell out a word. The team that unscrambles the word and puts the tubes on the pole in order will win and split $600. Okay. They have to do it from top to bottom. Whatever the word is, it has to be the first letter on the top. What's TP, Jim? That's where Indians live. We, we call it toilet paper here in Jersey. Are you ready? Ready. Contestants, the best way to do this, we found, is to throw it up in the air and make a mess. Stay kind of stay where your, your position is going. Yeah, throw it up and get it. The faster you can unroll it, the more you're going to win. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, that's the way to do it. Ooh, 4th of July. Oh, say can you see? All right, when you unroll, when you finally get to the bottom of the roll, find out what letter is on the spool, in the inner spool, and put it there on your little spindle. Okay, but well, you guys are making a mess. They all are staying after school to clean this up. Oh, I think this blue team, this blue team, oh, we got one. The red team's got one. 
the blue team's got one. It's pretty much equal. Push them down. Push them all down. Yes, good. Blue team's got three. Oh, look at them hunting search over here. There's one for the red team. Okay, then you have to unscramble the word and find out what the word is. We do not want the audience. We do not want the audience to tell them what it is, if you know. Okay, what is the word? Now, what is the word? Just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Uh, oh, I think they found it. I heard one of the blue people. We want the top letter on the top. Ooh, oh, oh, there it is! <laughs> you were stupid! You were as stupid as the word! <laughs> Sometimes I fool myself on this trip. There it is. Congratulations. We are going to pay the winners now, and we're going to a commercial. Let's give the winner the money. We'll be right back after this. Put on your thinking caps, running shoes, and body armor. Reach for the stars is next. Contestants. We got Jenny. How are you? Can I call you Jenny? You don't mind? Okay. We have Odie and we have Sherry. Jim Bradley. Yes, Tell sir. Us about Reach. What's your Jim? Okay. When a player answers a toss-up question correctly, they get a chance to run to a star. They control the universe as long as they can perform the stunts and answer your questions correctly. As soon as they miss, it's a chance for someone else to reach for a star. Jonathan. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. All right, put your hands above your buzzers, get ready, let's start the clock now. Go! Complete the title of this famous novel, War and... Peace. Sherry, Peace is correct. Go! Reach for the star, bring it back to me. This is a stunt and it's worth $300 if you successfully perform it. Stand here in the square, Sherry. What you gotta do is throw one, just one of the three bears, in the swinging child's chair. Bang! Oh, no! Get a star! That was amazing! Amazing. $200 question. In which state would you find the Churchill Downs racetrack? Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky is right. Reach for another star. This is a stunt and it's worth another $300 if she successfully does it. One of these apples has marbles in it. Find the apple. Which one? Watch the fingers there. Charlene's old. Oh, you got it. That's the one. Thanks. Okay. Good. <laughs> oh, this is worth $150. And what sport did Dorothy Hamill win fame? Uh, ice skating. Ice skating is right. Go. It's a stunt worth $1,000! Okay, all you gotta do is hold the sugar bag on your head, and Helen will pull the cork out. You fill that bowl to the top for me. Go! Oh, yeah, all that, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think she's gonna win herself. $1,000! Good! Here's another stunt! $150! Oh, who played Tootsie? Uh, uh yes, Yeah, Justin Hawkins. Good. She is the ruler of this universe, kids. All right, I've done worth $200. All you have to do is lie on the floor out of the sugary mess. Well, there's no out of the mess on this stage. All right, diaper yourself. Go. Diaper yourself. Go. No, yeah, they got to have the pin. We want to see the whole thing, and we want you to stand up, make sure. It's... Oh, she's not going to make this one. She's not going to even get the pin open on this one. She's not even going to... No, stand up and go back to your buzzer. Oh, you big baby. Fire Engine, Scarlet, and Crimson are all shades of what color? Jennifer, Red. you're in the game, baby. Go! Okay, this is a $200 question. Acorn, butternut, and zucchini are all what vegetables? What? what? Yes, yeah, squash. That's the variety you were looking for. Okay, $250. What does the M in Richard Milhouse? Oh, I just blew it. Oh! <laughs> Don't want to. Okay, okay, we'll give her that one. That one's hers. $300 stunt. Go! All you have to do is now put the hat on, use the mirror, and we want cheese on every one of the crackers on this hat. If you miss, it's just going to go on the hat. Go! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, 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 oh. She's going to miss. Yeah, there isn't even one back there. What do you tell her? But you got all of them. Good. Reach for another star. 
Bring it back to me. This is a $200 question. What color precedes the words opportunity, fleece, and rule? What, where, oh, what color precedes the word? Oh, anyone else know? What color precedes? No, no one knows. Go back. We're going to ask you another question. What city is home to the baseball team, the Brewers? What city has the Brewers? What city has the Brewers? Anybody, anybody? And uh, Milwaukee. Ace, love, and love are all terms in which sport? Tennis. No, oh, go, Jenny. You got it again. Race for a star. This is worth $250. What famous canal connects the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean? What famous canal? Uh, oh, anybody else know? Oh, Panama. Panama, you are in the game. Don't oh, not slip in the... Don't slip in the sugar. This is a stunt worth $400, which could put it over in the game. We want you to throw the balloon up. Then, run, get the bucket, and make it land in the balloon. You have to throw the balloon up first, then go get the bucket. Yes, that's the way. Pop it up high. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, come on. Good, good. Reach for another star on it. Good. This is a $250 stunt. All you got to do, put the chicken between your legs, hop to the next chicken, all right? And then, uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's the time is run out, chicken legs. Which means that Sharon is ahead for $2,000. Yahoo! That was close. That was close. Thank you very much. All right. You are the winner, Sharon. Congratulations. Congratulations. And that is Rookie. and accommodations for the Ruckus staff provided by Merv Griffin Resort Casino Hotel, Atlantic City.